Today, Roberta and I hike and drive the captivating Badlands National Park in South Dakota. Don't miss this enchanting adventure in this unique and beautiful national park. Make sure to like and subscribe, too. Bert and I drive about two and a half hours from Custer, South Dakota to Badlands National Park. And that's Buffalo Gap National Grasslands and Interior South Dakota. Don't blink or you'll miss it as we make our way to the park itself. You can see the sedimentary rock formations as we drive towards the entrance of Badlands National Park. There's the gate. Costs $30 to get in unless you have a National Park Pass. Badlands National Park. Since, uh, of course, we're in South Dakota. And just, this is on the south entrance. And the Ben is rifle. Visitor Senator Badlands. Cool. All right, let's start our uh, adventure, shall we? Badlands National Park. This is a little boardwalk. It goes up among the, uh, see it down in the valley, I guess you'd want to call it that. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. It's a September 10th, isn't it? I don't know. Uh, I think 9th. so. Is it the 9th? Oh, the 9th. Uh -huh. But it's a good time to uh, be in these places. It's not as crowded. It's not as hot. Right. Oh yeah, there's <laughs> you know, a big difference in that gonna have a high of 74 degrees here which is pretty nice yeah look at this wow 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 how many times in one day can you say wow <laughs> yeah it is a uh, amazing but you can see how well, they call it the badlands Not much you can uh, do with it besides uh, enjoy its uh, its beauty because it is beautiful. And you got the grasslands down here, uh, Buffalo Gap wow. National Grasslands, which That's has uh, also prairie dogs. Wow. Still vegetation, of course. So yeah, it's the third time we've uh, been here. It's also a Minuteman uh, Missile Visitor Center, also where you can actually look at a Minuteman missile. It's always cool looking, going getting up, up a little bit high so you can see some of the detail. Big fossil area as well. Besides the grasslands. Just uh, love the rugged. And this one here, and then we're not going to go all the way up there, uh, but has all the boardwalks all the way up to the top here. You can see it up there. Unbelievable, I would say. Wow. Wouldn't you like to have a house right there? Oh, wouldn't it be cool every day to get up and just come out and have coffee and just look at this? And come out and get a rattlesnake and have rattlesnakes <laughs> for a lunch. Rattlesnakes, it would be, well, maybe. Oh, that's pretty awesome. I suppose you'd have to almost really study to find out exactly how all this came about. You know what I'm saying? One of the 
boardwalks here in the I mean, good boardwalk system here at the uh, Badlands National Park, don't they? You like it? Yeah. Instead of being on the dusty trail all the time. Yeah. We will be shortly. This will be where you can actually kind of uh, skirt the rocks and so forth. Well, it makes it nice for people that can't walk very well or in wheelchairs. Yep. You got these uh, sunflower looking things coming out of the yeah, ground. Like yeah. Why, well, this is uh, something, isn't it? Beautiful in its own way. And you can also walk, hike on the top of these. I don't know what you call them, cutouts. That's what I'm going to call them. I'm sticking to it. Any folks out there hiking or walking? We call it more of a walk, I suppose. Always bring water with you, huh? We're in the not quite the middle of September and uh, about 74 for the high today here. A little close-up awesome. of you there, yeah. There's no place on earth like this. On earth. <laughs> well, there's no place like home according to Dorothy. <laughs> they click my feet. Yeah. Yeah, I go back to Kansas. Yeah. Been there, done that. Yeah. Another little panoramic uh, video here. That's where nobody is. And there. And then you start getting the people. You say you can go way out here and I guess just walk along these. I'm gonna call them hoodoos. I know that's not the right word for them. That's in like Bryce Canyon. And there's a bird over there. Probably taping me at the same time, huh? Nope, not anymore. Uh, again, wearing the uh, proper uh, hiking uh, shoes, uh, flip-flops. Although the UFOs are pretty comfortable. You can see the, the beautiful landscape here. Okay, now I'm going to watch my toes here. All right. So many times when I do this, I just uh, snag a toe. But it is. This is just too cool. So yeah, just gonna keep on going forever here, as if you want, just to take a stroll along the uh, the rocks here. And I'm coming to a not a dead end, but. Look at that. How cool is this, huh? So, I'm going to venture on a little bit further here. a little bit further here. Can okay, you do it? Pleasant day. Right now it's probably, I don't even think it's hitting 70, probably around 68 or so. They have these nice little uh, boardwalk systems here too. And so it makes it easier. So if you were in a, a wheelchair, still wanted to see this, you can. Up to a certain point. 
that's good. I like when they when they do that. National park system and other other areas. All right. Rained last night. I think it rained here too. And uh, there's a little evidence of it here. So yeah, last night it, we had a torrential downpour, thunder and lightning. That was in the Custer, South Dakota. We're about oh I don't know 80 miles away from that, maybe more. And uh, so you can see the uh, the water that gathered here. So there was it'd be hope if you were lost here. <laughs> somewhere you could still find water okay well onward shall we and even flowers grow in the middle of uh, all this the uh, world's loneliest tree There are other trees around here. It's not that bad in the Badlands. Whew. That's beautiful. Breathtaking. must come through there when it rains real hard like last night some greenery but this is some amazing uh, landscape isn't it Of course, the background's not too shabby either. Yeah. <laughs> look at that. Yeah. Look at uh, look at those beauties. God just showing off. Four, yeah. Yeah. Exactly four, right. <laughs> four of them. Been running into the females all the time. Haven't seen any of the males. Now we got four of them. Beautiful. One's laying down. Oh, there he goes and got, uh, got up. And I say the background is just, uh, couldn't ask for anything better. Got a calendar picture here, huh? Yeah. Got the four rams, bighorn sheep, with the Badlands backdrop. Oh, how awesome. Those are some pretty big guys right there. Seeing people pull over and you're thinking, hmm, there's just a pullover, a parking lot, not too far away. It's because of these guys. Apparently they were next to the road here just shortly. I know, I wish I had seen that. Yeah. Hmm. Always about timing. Look at the sediment lines through there. Here's some more up here. Nice. Well, you got some uh, prairie dogs here. But, so it's a prairie. 
Prairie Dog City, but you also have, oh yeah, they're antelope. There's a good, good shot. Driving by, just thinking it was prairie dogs, and then I said, that's way too big and way too white. Can you see the butt? Got a white butt there. All right, so our animal count's up pretty good today. Bighorn sheep, both male and female, uh, deer, these little prairie dog guys. Yeah, it's been a good day. Okay, one last sweeping view, and it's quite the view. You know, a lot of uh, national parks, kind of re reminiscent of other national parks. I mean, it's not like Grand Canyon, but kind of like Grand Canyon. Yeah, completely different look, but I don't know, it gives me that Grand Canyon vibe there. Nice, you got these viewpoints. Cool. And Bert. All right, well, you just have a few steps to go down here to the, uh, get a little bit closer viewpoint, but you just got from above too, it's fine. So you don't have to go this route. But your uh, reward is great when you get down here. Keep on thinking we're about ready to uh, leave Badlands. And then there's another viewpoint. A lot of them we passed by and then we had this one. And so, couldn't resist. doesn't matter. Go out to this other point here. Isn't that awesome? And as I say on a lot of videos, you know, what you see on video is not what you see in person. So much more grand and beautiful. The colorful the colors pop more when you're live. A little bit close to the edge there. see the walk behind there. I mean this is really pretty pretty simple. Beside this a canyon, Badlands you have all this grass area. Just saw as you saw bighorn sheep, four males there.
views just keep on getting better and better. Pretty cool. There's uh, Bert, so I make my way back. Us getting to Keystone gets keeps on getting later and later with all the uh, pullouts, <laughs> but we're heading that way. All right, to the stairs it is. Okay, I promise this is it. <laughs> In fact, we're all of about a hundred yards or closer as far as uh, the entrance into Badlands National Park. And a couple of those uh, dots out there are bison. And really haven't, we've seen one, one bison so far in this trip. Custer State Park is supposed to have tons of them. And just haven't seen any. So this is, uh, this is it. I mean, we are going to try to get to Custer tonight, but we've still got Keystone to go. And dinner to eat. And so it's a uh, speckled all out there with the bison and prairie dogs. Oh boy. All right, now we'll see you in Keystone. Keystone, South Dakota it is, just in the right time for a torrential downpour. This and much more on the next Out and About with G&B, unedited.